To the women's version of the LSUS and the LCU matchup, the ladies came out running. Olivia Scott, she will pull up from beyond the arc and hit this one. The Wildcats were on the board. Then Maya McKinney, she will go up for the layup, but misses. But Claire says, I got you. She put the put back in, and the Wildcats on a 7 nothing run. But Smith pulls up for the shot. No good. Destiny gets it. She puts it back in for the Pilots. Lady Pilots take the lead going into the halftime, 25 to 23. Coming out of the break, the Lady Pilots did take flight, and Tierra hits the triple. LCU responds. Maya McKinney gets the lay-in, but LC LSUS outscores LCU 24 to 9 in the third quarter. Tillerson hits another three, and Lady Wildcats try to make a run, but LSUS will respond right back. LCU drops this one to LSUS to end their season in the semifinal round, 62 to 46. LC started out hot going on a 7-0 run against LSU West, and they also led by four going into the second quarter. But coming out of halftime, the Lady Pilots took flight and outscored the Lady Wildcats 24-9 in the third quarter, which carried their momentum the rest of the game. Lady Wildcats fall to the Lady Pilots in the semifinals, 62-64. We fought, that, like I said, those lapses, third quarter, and um, the second quarter, those lapses on our offensive end caused us the game. I'm not surprised of how they came out, you know. I'm proud of how we played, you know, how we adjusted, you know. I just wish we could have did more than what we did. Just hurt uh, that we couldn't reach our goal, but I love those girls, you know, I love playing with them. I'm proud of how far we came. It was an honor just to play with them, and I always love them as my sisters. You gotta want it. Uh, so that means the 50-50 balls, the charges, you got to want to step up and take it. So I learned from this that you have to want it each and every game because the other team wants it. So you just got to have it want it just a little, just a little bit more. Bloody Wildcats will now look towards year two under Anna Phillips. But they will have to replace this year's conference player of the year and their dominance in the paint, Maya McKinney. Reporting in Alexandria, Mary Morgan Ellison, News Channel 5, your local station.